Right, so hey guys, what's going on? My name is Alex and today I'm coming at you with the first episode of my brand new series to do with setups and top five tips. This is going to be top five tips to keeping your setup looking clean. Let's do this. <laughs> Before we get into today's video, I just want to take a quick second to thank this video's sponsor. Videoblocks is one of the fastest growing and largest stock video libraries with over 3 million videos, After Effects and Motion backgrounds. This includes the only contributor marketplace that gives 100% of the commission back to the artists. This month, Videoblocks is launching a new collection featuring hundreds of new Unreal clips including space, VR, deep water, fantasy and sci-fi footage. And these are all in glorious 4K with your membership at no additional cost. If this sounds interesting to you guys, then go ahead and go to videoblocks.com forward slash future or click the link in the description for your guys. For your guys seven day free trial. Let's get into the video. So first off guys, we're gonna talk about a clean desk, right? And what is the first thing any clean desk has? good cable management or no cable showing whatsoever. Now this is tricky because what is front and center on the desk? The keyboard and mouse. So yeah, go wireless. But what if you want your keyboard and mouse to do some cool things like this with all those cool colors? I mean, we can all hold our hands up and say wireless, the wireless mouse and the wireless keyboard have played a brilliant catch-up game in the last two years. Logitech uh, brought out a wireless mouse which is almost indistinguishable to a wired mouse. But if you're like me and you prefer to have a proper wired connection to your mouse, you don't have to worry about charging it, then this is what you need to do. First of all, you need to decide whether your desk is always, throughout its life, going to have a keyboard and mouse sat on it. If the answer to that is yes, go downstairs, grab your drill, grab a nice big drill bit that is the same size as the USB end of your keyboard or mouse, and drill straight through your desk where the keyboard and mouse sits. To keep things clean, it's always a good idea to put a few pieces of paper or a sheet on the floor so you don't have to clean up a load of dust afterwards. And then voila! Push the keyboard and mouse cables through that single hole and you're done. I think the ability to have no wires going to your keyboard and mouse either by doing this method by drilling a hole or by going wireless is the first step to having a clean AF desk. So let's move on to number two from the mouse and keyboard just into general cable management. Now if you can't drill a hole in your desk maybe you have a glass desk and you can't do that. Well here is one simple way to make it look as neat as possible. Get rid of scraggly cables. Have everything going in a straight line and group as many cables together as you can. Make it symmetrical. What I have is a wooden desk and I think wooden desks are the easiest to work with and this is my favourite way of cable management because it's, it's really strong and the cables are never going to fall down. So if you have a wooden desk, get some cable tacks and tack them to the back of the desk. But then don't tack the cables in there. What you want to do is, is use a twist tie, not a cable tie a twist tie. The reason we don't use cable ties is because once you put your cables in there and put it through the tack and pulled it like that and got all your cables nice and tight, yes it's really easy but what if you want to take out some cables in the future or add some cables to that run in the future? You're gonna have to snip off that cable tie, put a whole new cable tie down, you may even cut one of your wires in the process. Use a twist tie. If you want to add some cables, simply untwist it. Add your cables and twist it back up again. Simple AF. If you don't have a wooden desk, you can buy these little things from Ikea. They have a sticky back on them and a place to root through a twist tie. Sorted. Number three is a tricky one. Let's tackle dust. Anybody? No? Dust. Dust is something everybody goes through. Everybody that owns something nice knows how pesky dust is. Especially if you're trying to keep a clean setup and on your top of your shiny black monitor and keyboard, you've got speckles of dust. What's the best way to remove it, Alex? Let me tell you, right? This is gonna sound a bit strange, so take this with a grain of salt. Go out to the shop, 
and buy a pack of baby wipes. Honestly, you won't regret it. Okay, so baby wipes, they're brilliant, right? They're slightly wet, so they're gonna pick up any dust that comes across them and stick it to the actual wipe itself. Instead of just using a microfiber cloth, all you're doing is pushing the dust in the air and it's just gonna settle down back on the desk. With a baby wipe, the dust is gonna stick to the cloth and then you put it in the bin, job done. But it goes on from there too. The baby wipes are actually, they, they have some sort of chemical in them which really, really easily brings up stains, food spills, anything that's on your desk, whatever it may be. It's gonna bring it up and get it off. They're an absolutely brilliant cleaning agent as well as removing dust. Just have a pack of baby wipes in the drawer next to your desk. Once a week, you'll be shiny. Really shiny. Like, too shiny. Moving on from that, what do our hands touch the most in the setup, right? The mouse and the keyboard. Now, the mouse is an easy thing to clean. You just get a baby wipe and clean the thing. But our hands are going everywhere throughout the day. You're going out in the car, out into town, you're going to work, you're in the kitchen making food, and then you're coming up and getting your grubby hands without washing them all over your keyboard. You've got food spilling in the keyboard gaps, you've got a little bit of crisp in there. Whatever's going down, it's in the keyboard too, right? How do we clean it? Most keyboards come with a little mechanism that you push into the key and you can actually pull up the keycaps. Most modern mechanical keyboards have this. So what I like to do is remove all of my keys once every other month, put them in a glass jar, Put in that glass jar a little bit of washing up liquid, fill it with lukewarm water, and give it a shake. It's gonna clean all your keys really, really well. And then whilst your keyboard without is there without any keys on it, you can go ahead and get a baby wipe and get rid of all those crisps and all those hair molecules and all the dust that's there, and then put all the keys back on. It's gonna look brand new. And then for my fifth tip, add some LEDs. This is gonna make your setup look really, really clean. Subconsciously though, let me explain. By adding LEDs to the setup behind the monitors, behind the desk, it's shining a very soft glow over the desk, right? A soft glow is appealing to the eyes. It lights up the desk, it emphasizes the fact that if you've just done the last four tips, your desk is really, really clean. And here's a quick tip, if you've got more than one monitor, get a little bit of black electrical tape and put it between the monitors. So if you have your LEDs behind the monitors, you're not getting any light bleed through that gap between the two or three monitors or however many monitors you have. But that's been my top five tips, guys, to keeping your desk looking clean AF. My name's been Alex. I'm back on my channel, Mars Bar. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Share some tips down in the comments if you have any more and other people, thumbs them up so they get to the top. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Adios.